Welcome back, this is Yamajack. We got Spillway Suicidal Demolitionist. I've got, um... I got earbuds in right now instead of my, uh, my over-ear headphones, just because, uh, they're a little bit more comfortable. I've been finding my, uh, my headphones are, like, heavy, kind of. And, uh, it's been super uncomfortable to wear them, especially since I've been, uh, been reading so much, so I've been kind of, like, sitting back in my chair and, um, properly, like, sitting in it like a chair instead of uh, a little bit more focused and sitting up kind of thing uh, and then my my uh, my headphones kind of get in the way of uh, of me being able to like turn my head while I have uh, my um, my headphones on just because they they cover up the ears and then it's I, just, I can't move my head because they like hold it there so firmly um, and anyway, I've got the uh, the earbuds on right now but they're a lot more no uh, noise isolating uh, because they're in your monitors um, instead of the over ears. The, the headphones I have aren't open backed, but they are not noise isolating. Um, so uh, when I'm talking, I can hear myself a lot better, whereas right now I can't hear myself very well. Like, I don't hear the noise from outside of, uh, of my own head. So I only, I get that like, you know, when you have, you, when you have, well, when you have earbuds in, uh, your voice kind of like sounds funky, right? It's kind of what's going on right now. And that's fine. But my voice might sound a little bit weird because I don't have the, the instant feedback of, of talking with myself. It might sound uh, quieter or louder, uh, more strained or something. I'm not sure. We'll see. They are more comfortable though. They're a lot worse sounding. Like the sound quality is a lot worse. Um, because the earbuds I'm wearing are like $7. And then the, the uh, headphones I have are you know like <laughs> five hundred dollars or something so there's there's quite a difference in the the quality of the uh the actual um drivers of course but i'm not i'm not too much of a, of a picky person when it comes to that kind of stuff so i uh i don't mind the cheapo five dollar you know earbuds so much they're fine in fact, I, I prefer to wear them on, on occasion just because they're more comfortable. They're, they're not as heavy. I mean, I have wireless headphones is the thing. So there's a lot of uh, probably just extra stuff in there to, to make it possible to transmit that sound over, you know, radio waves. So, see ya, bud. Um, so, you know, there's there's definitely a, a, a part of it to... And that's that's related to the, the wireless aspect of it, but I like wireless. I don't really like so much um, the wired stuff, which is what I'm using right now, which is why I go back to the uh, the headphones from uh, from time to time, just because I like to get up just while I'm out while I'm uh, on my computer, just get up and not worry about uh, anything pulling on my ears, or whatever, which happens quite a bit when I'm using these, because. Uh, I'll like get up to go get some water or use the washroom or something and I won't take out the earbuds because I, I won't take them out when I'm uh, when I'm uh, wearing the wireless ones because I don't need to. I'll, I'll just get up, walk upstairs, go grab some water, you know, whatever. And uh, I can't do that with these so I end up doing it anyway because it's such a habit that it, it yanks on my ears and it's, uh, it's quite painful and uh, not uncomfortable. Uh, anyway, about what I've been doing this week. Um, I've been, uh, I've actually been learning Japanese, so I've, uh, I've been able to speak Japanese, not well, but, uh, well enough to, like, listen to, to, uh, a speaker and understand mostly what's going on. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm a, I'm a Japanese speaker, I'm not able to actually, like, hold a conversation with, uh, with somebody, I wouldn't be able to go to, like, a job interview or something in Japan, I, I horribly, horribly fail that. Um, but I've been able to, to understand Japanese reasonably well. I don't need subtitles when I watch anime. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an okay speaker, but, uh, not great. And, uh, I've just, I've never been able to, uh, to read it, though, because all of my, uh, my, my Japanese knowledge comes basically from watching anime and then, uh, like, translator notes in manga... Um, talking to people who know Japanese and, and can tell me little bits and bobs, uh, looking up things, just just basically just kind of like picking it up as I as I go about my life as uh, as usual. So 
So I've never been able to read it because I never, I never looked into to how to, uh, um, to read it before. I've never actually like properly learned it, so I don't, I don't have the knowledge of the, um, the reading and writing of it. But uh, two days ago, I started properly learning Japanese, like properly, uh, instead of just kind of like picking bits and bobs up here and there as I, as I go about my life. I've actually been putting in an effort to. Uh, understand what is happening and be able to read it and stuff. So I've been studying the uh, the kana, the hiragana and the katakana. There's uh, there's this website uh, that will show you a, a random kana and then you have to type in the uh, the ramaji for it. So uh, it'll, it'll show you like the fu character and you have to type in you know fu. And uh, that's been extremely helpful because it's uh, it's actually so I don't, I don't I don't like normally you would probably use like flashcards or something, right? But I don't want to write this <laughs> top down. So uh, I used uh, I used this website and it's it's actually taught me how to pronounce at least pretty much all of the kana. I can I can read out kan like uh, kana. Like if there's if there's Japanese text, I can I can read it. Uh, kanji I I can't yet, it's not too well. I know a couple um, but generally speaking, there's a there's a hiragana translation of uh, of any kanji in in at least manga and uh, other media that I've I've seen. There's there's generally a um a translation for it, so it's not you know the end of the world. But um. Yeah, it's been kind of cool because because uh, I've been able to start pronouncing it, and then since I already know how to understand Japanese reasonably well when it's spoken, I can read it out loud and then kind of like understand what's happening, which is uh, kind of fun. So I've been reading a bit of manga in actual uh, in actual Japanese, and I've been able to understand mostly what's going on, which is uh, definitely an accomplishment for me because. I mean, I thought it would happen eventually, because I, I, I was planning on eventually learning Japanese, and uh, rather than eventually, it's it's happening. Okay, sure thing, bud. Rather than eventually, it's it's happening now. I can actually do it now. So it's been uh, it's been fun. But I was I was kind of remarking about uh, the experience to my sister the other day because um, I I dropped out of high school in. Well, I was kind of in like a weird position. I was in like grade 9, 10, and 11 at the same time. Um, and I dropped out. I would have been 16 years old, I think. So almost 10 years ago, like 9 years ago or whatever, I dropped out. And uh, it's just kind of funny. Where are you coming from? I don't have as good uh, like sense of direction with these earbuds either. Uh, it's just kind of funny, like, uh, thinking about how I'm studying now, because it's been, you know, almost a decade since I've properly done any kind of studying before, right? Um, so it's, it's, uh, it's kind of, uh, interesting. But, uh, it's good fun, it's good fun, I'm definitely enjoying it. I'll, I'll have a link to the, uh, the website that I've been using in the, uh, in the description if anybody else cares to actually try and learn Japanese as well. It's been an incredible resource for me. Um, so I, I highly recommend the use of it. It's uh, I, I I don't think I would be able to learn Japanese in two days without it, like uh, the written stuff anyway, because I'm I'm pretty good. Like I can read it pretty pretty well actually. Um, I can't understand what I'm saying all the time because I don't understand the words. Uh, and then kanji is of course a whole separate ball game that I still have to learn. But um, like I, I you give me some hiragana and I can pretty much read it. Um, pretty okay at this point, so it's uh, it's been an incredible help. And uh, if anybody's thinking of learning Japanese, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I can't recommend it enough. I want um, what I want though is uh, like a type racer, but in Japanese, <laughs> you know, because that's how I learn a lot of words. Honestly, is uh, is through like typing games. I'll type them a lot, and then I'll just kind of like know how to type them and know how to read them. And then, 
like ever since I was a child, that's pretty much been how I learned English: is uh, is reading and writing, is uh, is typing, reading and typing rather, uh, English characters and, and words, and then uh, kind of like familiarizing myself with the uh, the shapes of it so that I know what to type. And then uh, if I don't know what it means, then I, I look up what it means and uh, yeah, you dead? I'm sorry. Really, you're not dead. So I, I kind of want like a, a Japanese type racer. I'm gonna see if I can't find something like that. It would have to be easier though, right? Because I'm, I'm still a noob at it. And uh, kanji is a whole separate thing that'll probably show up in it as well. But regardless, I've been having an absolute blast learning Japanese. And uh, yeah, that's, that's about all there is to say about that. That was a pretty quick run, actually. I'm really liking demo. Uh, but that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.